Welcome to the world of Eugenia Swimwear, where style meets sensuality. Introducing our newest collection, designed to make heads turn. Whether you're lounging by the poolside or dancing under the moonlight, Eugenia Swimwear has you covered beautifully. Feel the touch of sensuality. Experience the allure of Eugenia. Eugenia Swimwear, where elegance and desire seamlessly collide. We've got a special treat for you tonight. Oh yeah, Gorilla, what's that? We've got the one and only Ricky Steamboat taking on Matt Bourne. Matt Bourne, who's that? Bourne is a seasoned enhancement talent who's made a name for himself in the WWF. Much like King Kong Bundy, Steamboat has only been with the WWF for a short while. But tonight, the MSG crowd has a chance to experience his incredible skills without putting him in a grueling match with an equal. Bourne, on the other hand, may not be instantly recognizable to some, but he has a rich history in the wrestling world from his days as Colonel Declerc and Big Josh in WCW to his stint as the original heel doink in 1993. This match is akin to the Santana Executioner bout from earlier tonight. It's designed to showcase Steamboat's exceptional abilities and give the fans a glimpse of what he's capable of. Funny, we had noted that Matt Bourne was gonna clown around in the ring tonight. Well, I guess we have the wrong tape. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna have to wait a little longer to see Bourne put on his clown makeup. Now Ricky Steamboat steps into the frame and he just looks huge. Steamboat says he's basically come to the arena to develop that lack of nice kindness that Bourne called him out on. As we all know, Steamboat is one of the impressive imports thanks to George Scott, who got his start in the Carolinas, whom is known for his legendary feud with Ric Flair in the mid-70s. It's not just wrestlers who are feeling the pressure gauge at this event because Gene Okerlund cuts Steamboat right off as he begins to talk on. Damn near 1.2 million are looking in on this particular event and nobody wants to lose in front of that many people. That's an impressive number, Jesse. It certainly is. The only way else one could view this pay-per-view was to go to your local cable company and pick up a special box to be able to see it. Vince must be on the edge of his seat tonight. He is because he could tell how many tickets were being sold in advance. That's how the wrestling business worked. You bought your tickets in advance. I've noticed that on old MSG shows on YouTube, they would announce the main event and the date of the next MSG show during the intermission. That's right. And it was close that till the week of the show that there was anywhere near enough people who were going come up to cover the deposits to reserve these theaters. Vince had big dreams, didn't he? He did. He was trying to figure out what it takes to get people in the building. He promoted everything from Evil K. Neville to ice hockey. But none of his big events sold any tickets. That's right. And they all took a financial bath, especially the Evil K. Neville idea. Evil just bailed halfway through the stunt and pulled his parachute. What a disaster. It certainly was. But tonight, with WrestleMania 1, Vince's dream is finally coming true. Steamboat starts off with a knife edge, chop off the ropes, classic Steamboat. He's engaging in some standard catch, as catch can wrestling with chops and a headlock, squeezing on Bourne's ear. Bourne responds with an inverted atomic drop. I have to say, Gorilla, this match is leaving something to be desired. It's lacking in athletic performance and production backstage. 
I agree, Jesse. This is far from the type of wrestling that NWA and WCW fans are accustomed to. It's more like Yankee wrestling with two slams and a pin to end it. Exactly. The matches we're used to seeing are 40-minute battles, showcasing the athleticism and endurance of the competitors. Bourne just hit a belly to belly suplex out of the corner. He followed up with a snap vertical suplex, but he didn't hook the leg, so he only got a two count. Well, Jesse, that was quite a match. Yes, Gorilla. Steamboat put on a clinic out there. He certainly did. His high-flying moves were a sight to behold. And that flying karate chop was simply devastating. Absolutely. And let's not forget the flying crossbody off the top rope. That was the match. Well, he's got the potential, that's for sure. He's got great strength and agility. He does, but he needs to work on his technique. He's too reliant on chops, back suplexes, and neck breakers. I agree. He needs to add more variety to his moveset. Yeah, Ricky wasn't a huge star yet, but he was rapidly becoming known as something special. It would be another year or so before he started tearing the house down on a regular basis and started having his masterpieces. Bourne would be a lot better when he had a gimmick to go with his skills. Yeah, he was just a young guy trying to find his way. But you could see the potential. Yeah, he's one of the greats now. But back then, he was just a good wrestler.